He kōna e pūrangi tēnei nā te reo irirangi o Aotearoa. No mai, hi there mate. Welcome to In Case You Missed It. Ko tāne tō kuingua, it's time to tahuna te ahi to ignite the fire and empower you with knowledge. Now let's take a quick look at what's going on here in Aotearoa and around the world. Artificial intelligence is in the headlines again this week, not only with fake photography, but with an AI-generated track seemingly from Drake and The Weeknd, causing a storm on streaming services for breach of copyright. The two-minute track, Hard On My Sleeve, features AI-created vocals that sound just like the two megastars, which has sparked debate about AI trickery, fakery, and copyright infringement in international media. Well, as of yesterday, it has been pulled from major streaming services. Drake's publisher, Universal Music, says it violates copyright law. It seems TikTok can't get away from the spotlight either, and there is a further reminder to be safe using TikTok or participating in challenges that appear on the platform. In the US, 13-year-old Jacob Stevens died after taking part in a TikTok challenge to take a high dose of an over-the-counter cough medicine while his friends filmed him. Tragically, he died six days later with his whānau by his side. Back here, though, at home, experts are warning that Aotearoa is in the midst of a fourth wave of COVID, with 14,000 people testing positive this week, up 2,000 on last week. Epidemiologist Michael Baker says numbers reached a low point in February and have been tracking up since then. It's not as high as the the last wave last year that peaked in December, but it's um, heading in that same direction. Since the start of the month, anyone over 30 can get a vaccine booster. Another reminder that we are still living with COVID. Tuesday is Anzac Day. It's not just a public holiday. If you're unsure of the significance of Anzac Day or need a refresher, this will get you up to speed. This week, we mark Raonga Hoya, or Anzac Day. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Anzac Day pays tribute to the New Zealanders and Australians who lost their lives while serving in the military, especially in World War I and World War II. We will remember them. We also remember the heroes who risked their lives and did amazingly brave things during the war. Heroes like Charlie Shelford. On September the 1st, 1939, Hitler led Germany to invade Poland. Two days later, France and Britain decided to stop Hitler and declared war on Germany. This started World War II. Advance Britannia. Long live the cause of freedom. God save the king. So Winston Churchill will always be remembered as the heroic leader who in Britain's darkest hour inspired his people to fight on the victory against Hitler. Charlie Shelford joined the 28th Māori Battalion shortly afterwards as New Zealand was drafted in to help Britain. Charlie was a Hōtutu character. Oh, Juju. Cheeky. He didn't always follow the rules, and he got into trouble with his sergeants and was often in detention at the training barracks. But he made it through training, and he went to fight in the war. By 1941, Charlie and the Māori Battalion were fighting in Libya when they were surrounded by enemy troops and under fire. Charlie volunteered to cover a quarter of a kilometre in order to reach the enemy position and attack them on his own. Under fire from anti-tank guns, machine guns, and small arms, Charlie ran, firing his machine gun from the hip. With only a few meters to go, Charlie was blasted in the leg by enemy fire. Ah! Wounded and dazed, he threw a hand grenade into the enemy trench, and the enemy surrendered. That grenade saved the lives of his fellow soldiers and forced the enemy to stop fighting in that area. And Charlie was a hero. Charlie Shelford is just one example of many brave soldiers. And why we celebrate Raonga Hoya Anzac Day. Don't forget that dawn services and remembrance happens all around Aotearoa on Tuesday, so get the whanau together and remember our soldiers. Well, from the Commonwealth to the King now. Next month, the coronation of King Charles III is taking place, part of which is a large-scale concert that will feature a variety of artists. The main draw card is pop superstar Katy Perry, with a global audience expected to be in the millions. Aside from the concert and formalities, the official dish of the celebration was announced too. It's coronation quiche, which was hand-picked by King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla. That is the official party food. Well, that sounds like a good old potluck. Unfortunately, I am unavailable. 
Well, that's in case you missed it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back at the same time next week. Enjoy your weekend. Hey, kuna.